Good morning. Today is January 2nd and it's my last day off before I go back to teaching. Teachers have a work day tomorrow and then kids come back Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and then we have Friday off as a holiday for our stock show. I have a lot that I want to get done today. I've got dishes all over the place, dishes in the dishwasher. I've got a ton of laundry to do and just some straightening up. I want it to work outside in my garden. However, it is 19 degrees outside and I'm sure not going to do that. Good morning, B. You say good morning? <laughs> Cutie duty. Anyway, um, so I figured I would take you guys along. Um, and then for dinner tonight, I'm going to make a cheese steak skillet. So I'll show you guys how I make that. So far so good on low carb and exercise. I need to exercise here in just a minute. Today's an elliptical day. Um, and just gonna try to eat a little better, but we're doing good so far. All right, what is that for? It means I'm no one's awake. No one's awake. Yeah, Brooklyn and I are the only ones awake. Luke and Bristol are still asleep. And it's pretty late, it's like 8.30. We all slept until eight, so. Mom, yes. it's because that it's, the times have changed. The time change, yeah, that was a long time ago. Okay, all right, here we go. Well, it's about one minute later and someone woke up. Can you say good morning? Good morning. Oh, can I have a kiss? Oh and goodness. our father has woke up. And our father has woken up and he's requesting coffee in bed. So I guess we can do that. But I just wanted to show you little Gris. Little Gris, Gris. Gris. What's your name? Um, Bristol Carson. Bristol Carson. And what's your name? Brooklyn Sage Hendricks. <laughs> Cuties. And that's Bristol Hendricks. <laughs> It was delicious. I'm about to put on some workout clothes and go get on the elliptical, but I wanted to show y'all real quick. We are also making our own beef jerky because it's really expensive at the grocery store. So we um, have had this dehydrator for years. We got it in a white elephant Christmas gift exchange and we've used it a lot. So we just cut up some steaks uh, that we got from our grocery store yesterday and then we marinated them and overnight. And then we, uh, dried them on a towel this morning and put them on here. All of these layers have quite a bit of steak on them. And this is just gonna be a really good, high protein, low carb snack for us. Good morning, angel boy. <laughs> Okay, so I just wanted to chat for a second before I hop on the elliptical um, about some personal goals that I have for 2022. So um, a couple days after Christmas, I got on the scale for the first time in a while and I weighed 179 pounds, which is the heaviest I've ever been without being pregnant. Um, my weight has fluctuated a lot over the past five years. Um, I was a Beachbody coach um, about 
almost six years ago. I was working out all the time. I was down to like 150 and my goal weight has always been like 145. So I was really close to hitting my goal. I felt good. And then I got pregnant for the first time and kind of went crazy with my eating for sure went crazy with my eating um i definitely didn't deny any of my pregnancy cravings and i was pregnant over the summer and ate a lot of bluebell ice cream and just kind of whatever i wanted and the day that i had my daughter my first daughter brooklyn i weighed 218 pounds which is a lot um even for a pregnant person in my for my body it was heavy um it wasn't just my stomach it was everywhere my face my butt my thighs my feet everything was big um and it was extremely uncomfortable after i had her um i had trouble breastfeeding so i was eating a lot of calories like trying to produce more milk and I lost like 12 pounds when I had her but like that was it like I didn't lose more weight from breastfeeding like everyone said that you would that didn't happen for me so about I guess a year later I was down to like 185 and was really unhappy with my body. I had a one-year-old and we had just moved to West Texas for a ranch job. And I thought, what the heck? I'm not working now. I stopped teaching when we moved because we lived so far out of town. Um, and so I was just a stay-at-home mom with my baby. And uh, I started doing the 21 Day Fix workouts again. And I started eating keto for the first time. And I lost 10 pounds in the first two weeks that I was working out and eating low carb. So I've been doing keto off and on for like three or four years and it does work quickly. I know it works for my body and it's eating low carb. So I started doing that again. I got down to like one, I think like 161, like I was almost back in the 150s. And then I got pregnant again. So um, I did a little bit better on my second pregnancy, but not that much better. Um, we, I was a stay-at-home mom. I was out in the middle of nowhere on a ranch and just kind of eating whatever I wanted to eat. I was a little bit more active this time, but the day that I had my second daughter, I was 208 pounds. So I was 10 pounds lighter with my second daughter then when with my first daughter, but I mean, I was still over 200 pounds and my goal was to not go over 200 pounds. So I didn't hit that. Um, so I had her and just wanted to start losing weight. So, uh, I was like, yeah, as soon as I hit six weeks postpartum, I'm going to start working out again and it's going to be great. But I had a really slow recovery with her. With my first daughter, six weeks went by, I was back on a horse and no problems. With Bristol, uh, that was not the case. It took me like a solid three months to heal. Um, I won't go into a lot of detail, but it just uh, was a, a tough recovery on me that second time. Um, so I made the decision to... Um, get back in shape like after I had her and I started running and I love running. I really do. I enjoy it just because it's the only alone time that I get. I don't like actually like running. I don't enjoy it. Um, my breathing <laughs> is not great, but it was the only alone time that I was getting. I had two small children and I needed some time to myself and if I worked out at home, they were going to be right there. And so my husband would watch the girls for like 30 minutes or an hour and I would go to the park and I would run. This was after we moved again um, and we were living like closer to a park, not in the middle of nowhere. So that was awesome. I loved doing that. And um, I started... Um, like running virtual races that was over 2020 when like no races were actually happening and I really enjoyed that I did one called um 
what was it? I just kept running. It was a like from, not from Castaway, from Forrest Gump. And so I have a medal with Forrest Gump on it. Anyway, so my, that was my first 5K to run. And then I ran another one uh, in College Station at Santa's Wonderland and came in like third in my age group for women. So that was exciting. And I was running every day. I was running at least a 5K every day. And we had a treadmill too. So I was working out a little bit at home during the girls' nap times. Um, and then uh, things got a little crazy. We moved again. We've moved so much in the last few years. We're finally settled. Like we're in a place where we're going to stay. I'm, a, I'm teaching here. My husband has a good job here. Like we're not moving again for a long time. Um, so anyway, so we moved back to West Texas and I have been in a master's program through Sol Ross State University for school counseling for two years. I just graduated last month. And so I, I was running all the time and then things got really, really stressful for me in my master's program. And I was teaching again for the first time in five years, at, like outside of the home, like actually in a classroom. And I just got really overwhelmed and really stressed out and really anxious. And there was too much on my plate um, with my beadwork orders that I that were all on deadlines, teaching, lesson planning, all of the master's work that I had to do, and I was trying to run every day. So naturally, I gave up the only thing I was doing for myself, and I stopped running, and I stopped eating healthy. I started drinking a lot of very sugary iced coffee, and just eating my stress away, um, which is not healthy, obviously. And that's kind of where I am now. Like in October, I stopped running completely. I went from exercising every day to not exercising at all, ever. And eating like relatively healthy to just eating whatever I wanted, whenever I wanted, whether I was hungry or not, that I was eating something and drinking iced coffee and sweet tea and all the sugary things. So um, that led up to a couple days after Christmas where I weighed in at 179. Um, I've worked out a couple times since then. I went for a run, like a 2.75 mile run, which was really hard for me um, because I'm so out of shape now. I did a, like we have a weight, Thing, like a weight station in our garage. I did that yesterday. I'm pretty sore from it today. Today I'm going to hop on the elliptical um, and I'm going to try to work out at least five days a week. I'm really going to shoot for seven days a week, like getting some type of exercise seven days a week, even if that's just like going for a walk and not running three miles or um, doing some yoga before bed. Like I did yoga last night, a 15 minute yoga, um, like for sleep and stress relief. Wow, I have some big bags under my eyes. Goodness gracious. I've been sleeping so much during this break. What the heck? Oh well, we'll be okay. Um, anyway, so I'm gonna try to exercise every day, but my real goal is five days a week. And then I am trying to eat low carb, and just a little bit healthier. I'm not gonna like put, I, I track things too much, which I also need to talk about tracking my food. Um, but I last year I was running all the time and if I didn't run one day, I was just devastated. Like, oh man, I just blew like my whole goal. I'm definitely an all or nothing type of person. Um, so this year I'm gonna try not to be like that and I'm gonna try to um, be proud of the progress that I'm making. Um, going back to my master's program, as soon as I finished, like two days later, I was looking up how to get my administration degree. I was just like ready to move on to the next thing. I'm never satisfied or proud of what I've done or where I am. So I'm working on that this year. I don't need to go and get my admin. I would like to try a position in school counseling before I just take off on something else. Um, so I just need to be content uh, with who I am, with where I am in life, and to be happy with the progress that I am making and be proud of myself because I've done a lot to be proud of. And that's really hard for me to say um, because I'm not typically like that. 
So um, about tracking my food, I downloaded the MyFitnessPal last night. I have used that once before for like a day. So this is really the first time I've ever tracked calories or carbs or anything like that. I've always just like, uh, I've never tracked calories ever. Um, but with my carbs, I would just eat low carb things like dirty keto kind of. I wasn't like trying to stay below a certain number. I was just eating things that were lower in carbs and I wasn't like adding that together to get like a final number or anything. So I'm not going to take this too seriously. I did get it last night and it said that I needed to eat like 1,640 calories or less. I was below that yesterday, like significantly, um, just eating lower carb. So I think I'm going to do that just for a little while, just to kind of track the things that are going into my mouth, into my body and be aware of what I'm eating so that I'm not just like mindlessly snacking. I think that that will help me because portion control is definitely something that I struggle with. Um, so I'm working on that. So we'll see how long I do my fitness pal. It keeps trying to make me upgrade. I'm not going to pay money to do that. So we'll see. Anyway, so I'm going to hop on the elliptical. That's what I'm doing for today. I might do some yoga tonight. Um, and I got an Apple watch for Christmas. So I've been, this is the series three. I had a Fitbit before. This is my first experience with Apple watch ever. I'm loving it so far. I've tracked all of my workouts and it has an elliptical setting. So I'm going to just do an open goal on the elliptical. I've been shooting for 20 minutes. Um, I say I've been shooting. I don't, I've ridden the elliptical one time in the last like two months. So the other day when I got on it, I went for 20 minutes and it was really hard. So we'll see how that goes. I'd like to do at least 20 minutes and then maybe some yoga or something this evening just to stretch me out because I am pretty sore from my strength training yesterday. So this was long winded. If you're still with me, awesome. Thank you. I appreciate it. Um, and I would love it if you would stick around and subscribe because I'm trying to hold myself accountable with my weight loss and with healthy eating on this channel. Um, like why am I doing this? Because I want to lose weight. Um, we're going to the beach in July for uh, my husband's job. It's like a work trip for him. I'll be at the beach with the kids the whole time. And I would really like to be comfortable in a bathing suit and I would not be comfortable in a bathing suit right now. So that's my goal by July. I'd like to lose, I don't know, 15 or 20 pounds. And I think that that's totally doable. That's seven months away. It's the end of July. And I think I did the math on it and that would be like 2.85 pounds a month, which is doable or more. So here we go. <laughs> Okay, I just finished 20 minutes on the elliptical. Woo! I burned 261 calories in 20 minutes. Oh my goodness, I'm so out of shape. I am dripping sweat. Woo! And it's time to go shower and get ready for the day. A little bit better. I'm ready for the day. All right, it is one o'clock. I haven't cleaned my house yet. I haven't done the laundry. I haven't done the dishes. I haven't sectioned my ground beef. I haven't done a lot. Um, so what I'm gonna do right now is put some jalapeno poppers together. The Dallas Cowboys play here in a little bit. And we are gonna eat a late lunch of jalapeno poppers. So that will be delicious. And then I'm going to unload the dishwasher, reload it with all of these dishes right here. I'm going to section my ground beef up into three or four sections, and then I'm gonna do laundry is my plan for now. So let's go. I just got a text from Pizza Hut on my Apple Watch. It says, New Year's resolutions can definitely wait another day. 
get the original stuffed crust for $12.99. I'm gonna go ahead and stop. S T O P send. I'm unsubscribed from Pizza Hut. <laughs>
3.30. We just had lunch and then we read, turn some lights off, then we read uh, in bed for about 20 minutes and just let our food digest. And now I'm gonna make some iced coffee so that I can get some energy to do all of this laundry that I need to do. And then I'm gonna just reheat the leftover coffee from this morning. Luke wants a cup of black coffee as well. So let me show you how I'm making my iced coffee. done for the day. I've gotten almost everything done that I wanted to do. It is, let me tell you, four o'clock. Um, I need to make dinner here in a couple of hours, but I think I'm just going to go hang out, finish my iced coffee. It's back there. You just can't see it. Uh, finish my iced coffee and watch the rest of the Cowboys game with my husband on my last day off of Christmas break. So I'll check back in with you guys here in a little bit when I cook dinner. All right, it's about 6.15. I just uh, went and sprayed weeds in my garden and the kids are playing with glow sticks. And I'm getting really hungry. I know I'm going to go overboard if I don't make dinner pretty quick. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and start cooking. I also wanted to show y'all our jerky. It uh, We've already tasted some of it and we turned it off. So it's just kind of drying on this rack and it turned out really good. It's not um, super stiff, it's pretty pliable and it tastes really, really good. So we'll have a lot of snacks. I'm gonna bag that up and take it to school so I have this as a snack.
think I'm gonna wrap this video up. It is 8.25. Um, Brooklyn went up to bed at eight. Bristol is in our bed with us. She sleeps with us. And um, Luke and I just did some yoga. We're gonna have some hot tea and read a little bit before bed. Hopefully be asleep by like 9.15. Um, I've got just a little bit of my water left. I'm gonna finish that tonight. I am trying to drink a whole one of these every day. And then we did bag up our jerky. So I've got one for work and Luke's got one for work for the week. And then we have one for home for snacks. So um, that Philly cheesesteak skillet was really good. I did add some garlic to that mixture and then um, it got a little dry. It sucked up all the juices. So I added some chicken broth as well and it was awesome. We have leftovers so we can both have that for lunch tomorrow. Anyway, if you made it this far, thank you so much for watching. That's what a typical like weekend, Saturday or Sunday looks like for me in my life. All right, please um, like and subscribe, stick around and I'll see you in my next one. Can you say good night? Good night. Can you blow kisses? This is a hot. Okay, say see you later. See you later. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Subscribe. Subscribe. <laughs> night night. Night night.